Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade chapter 11, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so you'll see that on number two, that I colored in the different sides. Now, what you need to know is that each one of those colors has two of them. So there are two of the blues, two of the greens, and two of the pinks, or what looks like orange on there, okay? So I did these, but what we need to do to each one of them is also add on a times two, okay? because there's two of each one of them, okay? So we're gonna go three times three is nine, times two is 18, okay? We're gonna go seven times three is 21, times two is 42. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the next one. Okay, so now we're gonna add those up, okay? So, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 2 more is 12, carry that 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6, plus 4 more is 10, 102. So 102 millimeters, and we multiplied millimeters by millimeters, so it's millimeters squared, okay? So let's see with the next one, okay? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go... I'm just gonna outline them this time instead of coloring them in, okay? So this one is going to be five, and it's gonna be by four, it's four inches tall. So five across, four tall, and again, there's two of them, okay? Now, this one, okay, is going to be five long by one inch wide, and there's two of them, okay? Last one, guys. Okay, this one is gonna be four inches tall by one inch wide, and there's two of them, okay? So now, five times four is 20, times two is 40, okay? Five times one is five, times two, 10. Five times one, or sorry, four times one is four, times two is eight. Add those up. Eight, four plus one, five. 58 inches squared. Multiplied inches by inches, it's gotta be square inches, okay? All right, I'm gonna let you guys do number five. Ah, you guys can't even see that, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and do number five. We're gonna go down and do number six, okay? And it says, Jeremiah is covering a cereal box with fabric for a school project, okay? So it's six by two by 14, okay? Six by two by 14 are the original dimensions, okay? So we have to do six by two. We have to do six by 14. And then we have to do two by 14, okay? So this is how to do it when you don't have the box sitting in front of you, okay? And there's two of each one of those sides, okay? So you'll notice we did six by two, six by 14, and then we did two by 14. Now we're including all of them. They're all being multiplied by each other, okay? So six times two is 12, times two is 24. I don't happen to know off the top of my head what six times 14 is, so I'm gonna go ahead down here and do that. Okay, 84. Okay, and then I'm gonna multiply that by two. Okay, so two times four is eight, two times eight is 16, so that's 168. Okay, now two times 14 is 28. And I'm gonna multiply really fast. 28 by that two, and I believe we'll get, yep, 56, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna add all those up, okay? So four plus eight is 12, plus six more is 18, eight down, carry the one. One plus two is three, plus six is nine, plus five is 14, carry the one and two. So 248, it's in inches, 
and we multiply the inches by inches, so it's inches squared. Okay? All right. She is making a case for her calculator. Okay? So we have a 3.5, we have a 1, and we have a 10. Okay? So those are our original dimensions. I'm going to do exactly what I did last time. I'm going to do 3.5 times 1, 3.5 times 10, and 1 times 10. Now, each one of those, there's two of those sides, so I need to multiply each one by 2. Okay? All right. So, 3.5 times 1, it's going to be 3.5 times 2. Well, 3.5 times 2 is 7. Okay? 3.5 times 10 means I get to move the decimal one time, so that's 35, and 35 times 2 is 70. Now, 1 times 10 is 10, times 2 is 20. If you need to do all that math work out here, the multiplication, you go right ahead. There is nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm going to add those up. So 7 plus 0 plus 0 is still going to be 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. 97 inches squared. Okay? Pause it. Make sure you write down your work. Okay? All right. So we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay? Sorry, you can see my coloring through the other side of the paper, but we'll make it work. Okay? Patron wrote the inequality x plus 56 equal or is smaller than 533. What is the solution of the inequality? What could be? Gotcha. So what we're going to do is we're going to put x plus 56, 533 right there. Okay. Well, in order to get x alone, which is what I want, I need to do the opposite of the sign and the number that's attached to it. Okay? Whatever I do to this side, I also have to do to this side. Now I'm just going to subtract. Okay? These guys cancel out, and I'm going to do the subtraction. So then I will get x equals whatever this subtraction is. Okay? So 3 can't take away 6. I'm going to borrow 1, making that 13. 13 take away 6 is 7. 2 can't take away 5. I'm going to borrow 1, making that a 4, and that a 12. 12 minus 5 is also 7. And I'm going to bring down that 4. So 477. Okay? All right. The table shows the number of mixed CDs y that Jason can make in x hours. Which equation describes the pattern on the table? Well, y equals, okay, well, in order to get from 2 to 10, we either have to add 8 or we have to multiply by 5. So let's see. If we add 8 to 3, we get 11. So that's not going to work. But if we multiply it by 5, we do get 15. So it's going to be 5 times whatever x is. x times 5 is 15. x times 5 is 25. x times 5 is 50. Okay, so there's your equation. Okay. A square measuring 9 inches by 9 inches is cut from a corner of a square measuring by 15 by 15 inches. What is the area of the L-shaped figure that is formed? All right. Well, let's do 15 by 15. And then we're going to subtract the 5 times 5. So we're going to subtract 25. That one we know. Okay. So. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. We're going to go and tick, tack, and toe, and then 1 times 15 is 15. So let's add them up. Okay? 5, 2, carry the 1, 2. So 225 minus 25 is just going to be 200. 200 inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. Okay? All right. All 
Oh, y'all, I totally just did that wrong. I, for some reason, went five by five instead of that. So hold on just a second. And I'm going to fix my mistakes with whiteout. So we're going to take away. This is going to be a nine by nine, not a five by five. Sorry, y'all. Okay, now let's do it right. Okay, so nine by nine is 81. Okay, so now, okay, so now we're going to take away 81. Sorry, y'all, I know that's light now. Okay, so five minus one is four. Two can't take away eight. I'm going to borrow one, making it 12. 12 minus eight is four. And bring down that one, it's 144 inches square. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. Boxes of Clancy's energy bars are rectangular prisms. How many lateral spaces does each box have? Well, okay. So we're going to have a box. Well, here, let's do it this way. We're going to go back just for a second to number five, and I'm just going to show you the picture, okay? So there's one side, two sides, three sides, four sides, five sides, oh, and then six sides is the one that's facing us, okay? So it has six sides just like but lateral, there's only four of them. Sorry, I'm trying to make it so that y'all can see this. Okay, so lateral, one, two, three, four. There are four lateral sides. There you go, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 11.2. Come on back to 11.2. See you soon.